Hello, my dear friends. In the previous session, we uh, learned how to divide big numbers using two digit numbers like 29, 79, 69. Yep. Yeah. This, in this session, we are going to take up some different devices that is no, not ending with nine. Let's say they are ending with eight or seven and things like that. So how to uh, go about such kind of divisions. So the best way all of us know is uh, the way through examples. So we'll be taking multiple uh, varieties or varieties of examples through which we will be understanding that particular division process. Now here is a word of caution. It might appear in the you know uh, beginning that the process is longer as compared to the regular division or the longer division method. But as you practice along, you will be you know more fluent in the process and it will become much easier for you to divide and that too many a times in your mind itself so you don't even write need to write on a piece of paper so all depends on how much practice do you do okay so let's understand this uh, process right so let's take a number random number random number is six seven four three two one let's say four three two one this is a number six seven four three two one and i want to divide it by 38 okay so this is the agenda so as we did last time let's segregate out the last digit segregate it out okay so isolate it that will help me identify where is the terminating process now next step was to find out closest multiple of 10 for the divisor so closest multiple for 10 for the divisor is 40 and 40 is plus 2 away so let's say 38 plus 2 will give you 40 okay now your synthetic divisor is 4 now it is much easier to divide using 4 than by 40 isn't it so let's begin so 4 times 1 will give you 4 here so what is the remainder 2 this remainder sits here like that so just like writing you know so it is nothing but 27 so 2 and 7 you have to read it combinedly together so 27 but this time around what you need to do is you need to multiply this factor 2 here with the previous quotient 2 and then add to 27 okay so 27 plus 1 times 2 is how much 29 so the new dividend is 29 now if you remember in the previous case when we were you know when the factor here was only 1 then we need we didn't do anything we simply added this to the previous quotient but this time what will you do you will add this new number 27 with 2 times 1 so if it was 3 here you will do 3 times 1 like that okay so uh, so let me you know go through the process it becomes much easier then to understand so 27 plus 2 times 1 is 29 now go for the division so again you will get 7 so 4 7 is 28 right the remainder is 1 now this remainder comes and sits here on 4 so it becomes 14 now 14 i have to add what this 7 times the factor 2 so 7 times 2 is 14 so this 14 plus 7 times 2 is 28 so the new dividend is 28 now again divide you'll get one once again 7 so 28 what is the remainder 0 let's write this 0 here so 0 3 is the number but you have to add what again this 7 multiplied by the factor 2 so 14 14 plus this 3 is 17 so the new dividend is 17 now what divide again so 4 4 is a 16 right remainder is 1 write this one here the new number is 12 plus 4 times this 2 so 8 plus 12 is 20 again divide 5 times so 20 right what is left 0 so here you make the 0 sit here so 0 1 plus 5 times this 2 this will be the end right so 10 plus 1 11 so this is the last dividend which is the remainder okay so what do we get we get quotient as what is quotient here 17745 okay the another another example is let's say i have to divide now let's take a bigger div divisor so let's say first of all this is my uh randomly taken let's say i'm taking this as my dividend 462971 okay now let's try to divide it by 58 Let's find out quotient and remainder. So again, isolate the last digit. Let's start doing it. So hence, in this case, 
58 plus 2 will give you 60 the nearest multiple of nearest multiple of 10 is 60 so the divisor will be 6 now so let's start dividing so 6 7 are 42 isn't it 6 7 are 42 so what is the difference 4 remainder is a 4 then put 4 here so number new number becomes 42 plus 7 times 2 right the previous quotient times the factor so 42 plus 14 is 56 so the new dividend is 56 correct now again divide 6 9s are 54 6 9s are 54 the remainder is 2 again this 2 will come and sit here so 29 29 plus 2 times 9 right this 2 times 9 so 18 29 plus 18 is 47 is it so let's write the new dividend 47 again divide 6 how much 6 um, 7s are 42 correct 42 so hence what is left 3 uh, 5 sorry 5 5 is left this 5 comes and sits here so it's 57 plus 14 57 plus 14 is 71 so let's write 71 and again divide now here 6 11 times 6 times 11 is 66 so 6 times 11 so you will write only the units place here and the other one becomes the carry so 6 times 11 is 66 what is the remainder 5 so this 5 comes and sits here but 5 51 plus what 51 plus 2 times 11 the previous quotient was 11 isn't it so 2 times 11 added to 51 will give you 73 but this was the last step because we have already hit the last digit so hence what would you say you will say that 462971 462971 is equal to 58 times 7981 why 8 because this 1 plus 7 will become 8 right 7981 plus 73 this is the division process but you see this 73 is more than the divisor 58 so can i not draw 58 from there so this is 58 into 7981 plus 58 plus third uh, how much 15 yep can i can i say that so hence this is nothing but 15 58 into 7982 plus 15 so this is a last process so what is the quotient 7982 remainder is 15 okay now here it would appear that it is taking more time but in my opinion i am writing each and every step here otherwise usually you can complete the division in this step only so you don't need to write all these you know when you're doing it faster so hence remember this process let's take one more example so in this case again i am picking up a random number but this time around i am going to take up another number which is a little farther away from multiple of 10 so let's take this example i have to divide uh, let's say 59214 59214,3. let's say this is a six digit number i want to divide it by 77 77 okay so again as i know you have to segregate the last digit then how far is this from 80 80 is the nearest multiple of 10 so 8 is the divisor let's divide so if 8 is the divider so hence 8 7 is 56 so 56 difference remainder is 3 write this 3 here 32 but you have to add what now 3 times 7 right 21 so that becomes 53 so new dividend is 53 right now again divide 8 6 is 48 48 so 5 comes here 5 sits here 51 plus 18 is nothing but 69 so write 69 here then 8 8 is 64 then this is 5 and then this goes here becomes 54 plus 24 is 78 new divisor 54 plus 24 so 78 divide now 8 9 is 72 remainder is 6 6 comes here 6 sits here 63 plus 3 times 9 27 so 63 plus 27 is 90 but since it was a last step so here we'll stop right so what do i get i get 592143 is equal to 77 times 7689 7689 into sorry plus 90 right but clearly 90 cannot be the remainder 77 was the divisor so hence you have to take a this can be written as 7690 you took away one 
77 so 13 is the remainder now so hence quotient is 7690 remainder is 13 okay so this is how you quickly do it so now i what i'll do is i will demonstrate how in actual scenario we will be doing such calculations okay so let's start so let's say i have 7 7 4 7 4 let's say i have 7 4 3 6 2 9 4 3 6 2 9 4 this is the number and let's say i have to divide it by 88 how quickly see how i'm going to do it quickly so hence this is my plus 2 will give me 90, so 9, so 9, 8 is 72, so you will get 2 here, then this 2 sits here, so let me put a line so that becomes easier to identify, so 23 plus 8, 2 is 16, so guess gives, gives you 39, new remainder, new dividend, sorry, 9, 4 is 36, then 3, this 36 plus 8 is 44, then 9 fours are 36 you get 8 you sit here 82 82 plus uh, 8 is 90 so new dividend is 90 so 9 tens are okay 9 tens are so hence one will be sitting here so 90 0 0 comes here 0 9 plus 20 is 29 by 20 10 times 2 plus 9 29 so hence what now 9 uh, 3 is a 27, so 2, so 24, 24 plus 6 is 30. So last number is 30, right? So hence your dividend is or divisor, sorry, quotient is 84503. Why 5? Because you have to add this 1 plus 4, 503 into 88 plus 30. This is the remainder and the dividend is seven four three six two nine four okay seven four three six two nine four is equal to eight four five zero three into eighty eight plus thirty 